Hi again, in today's video lecture, we're gonna talk about the media review or product review speech that's due at the end of the second week of class. I'll tell you about the requirements, suggest a few models that you might check out while you're producing your own review speech, and most importantly, I'll outline a few do's and don't for this speech. So there are three components for the entire media or product review project. If you're watching this video on the assigned due date, then you will have already submitted and received my feedback for your proposal, and more than likely, I will have already sent or will soon send out the feedback for your outline today. In any case, by now you should feel confident that you know what media text or consumer product you will be reviewing, as I've already greenlit your review topic. Again, just to reiterate, you can review a film or book, video game, comic, television series, or a single episode, an action figure, some sort of consumer electronic, there's a lot of things that you can review. All with the explicit goal here being to review, and thus make a recommendation about whatever it is that you've chosen. Before moving on, let me remind you of some basic requirements for the media review speech. Go check out the assignment instruction sheet on D2L for more detail if you want that. The speech should be four to six minutes in length. Pay attention here, this is important, signified by the Patrick Starfish that just went across the screen. So although I don't mention this explicitly on the assignment instruction sheet, I want you to use at least two reputable quality references or resources in this speech. As such, that means that I'm gonna to need to hear two distinct oral citations in your speech. These could come from consumer reports, scholarly books or journals, critical reviews, sales, news reports, box office reports, reputable news organizations. Just avoid super far right-wing or left-wing platforms that peddle conspiracies and lies and rely on clickbait titles. I'll post a few video links in the course announcement that will help you better assess the credibility of the sources you might be using. I don't suspect you're going to find a lot of scholarly articles, since you're doing a contemporary media product more than likely, but just in case you might find something written on it. Okay, so you're not required to produce or use any sort of visual aid for this speech, though you can if you wish. You're not allowed to in the first speech, in this one you can. Actually from here on out, you can if you want. The last one you're required. That's entirely up to you whether you decide to use a visual for this or not. If you go that route, as always, think strategically. I may give you critical feedback on your visual, but uh, because it's not a requirement, I, it won't count against you. Uh, it won't count against your score with one single exception. If you submit a PowerPoint that is just filled with text and you read it at me, I'm gonna take off a buttload of points uh, and it's gonna make me sad and you don't wanna do that because I don't wanna be sad. So whether you're reviewing a book, a film, or a smartphone, I wanna highlight a few creators who I think produce engaging reviews that are smart, thorough, and entertaining, so you might look to their work as a model. Chris Stuckman, for instance. He creates excellent film and sometimes even video game reviews on his YouTube channel. Go give him a look. Marquez Brownlee, or you might know him better as MKBHD. Uh, he produces exceptionally high-quality video reviews of consumer technology products. Really, really great stuff. Um, Next up, journalist and content creator Alana Pierce. I've been following her for years. She's been generating exceptionally written and multimedia reviews of video games at IGN and Funhouse and on her podcast that she now operates. And finally, Anthony of Anthony's Customs. He has a wealth of toy action figures and collectible reviews on his YouTube channel. Are there better photos of him? Probably. Moving on. Okay, the do's and the don'ts section of the presentation. This is the most important thing. All right, so pay attention, please. A review is a particular speech genre. There are certain expectations that a viewer or a listener will have when they know they're about to read or watch a review of a film or a video game, for example. You've more than likely consumed video reviews or reviews your entire life, right? But this might be the first time that you've ever made one. So I want to offer a few tips and tell you things that you ought to include and the things that you should generally avoid. First please tell the audience what it is that you're doing. Tell the audience that you're reviewing whatever it is that you're gonna be reviewing and that you'll be making a recommendation. If you're gonna review Spider-Man for PS4, a flagship smartphone or a new album, tell the audience the relevant information. Let's think about this in terms of a film. For example, if I were going to review Thor Ragnarok, I would tell you a few things. The title, release date, the director, I might mention a few stars of the film, box office return, maybe even the studio that produced it if it seemed relevant, which it might for a Marvel film. Okay, so this brings me to point number two. Assume that the audience doesn't know much of anything about the product or the media text that you're gonna review. That means that you're going to have to supply your audience with all of the information that they will need to follow along and make a valid assessment. 
So after I mentioned the title, the release date, director, and so on and so forth, I would provide a plot synopsis while trying my very best to avoid spoilers. But don't just repeat the whole film. No one wants to you know, hear that, right? If it's a film or a video game. From there, I'd preview my main points. So let's say I open up my review stating that I'll be reviewing Thor Ragnarok and that I believe it's the most enjoyable film in the Marvel Cinematic Universe to date. And here, I'd say, because of its unique aesthetics, uh, its witty dialogue, maybe its profound special effects, whatever, right? You're gonna have your own things that you would decide that you would say, these three or two or four things is what makes this worthy of your money and your time. But see how I pre previewed those points. I'm arguing that these three things are what make the film worthy of an audience's time and their hard earned money. Finally, make a recommendation. Please don't lose sight of this. This speech is a review and as such, you have to actually make an assessment and a recommendation of the product, film, book, game, or whatever you're discussing. Now let's turn to the things to avoid. Do not assume that the audience is knowledgeable uh, about what you're reviewing. Don't be or overly informal. Treat this as a formal presentation. Can you be entertaining? Yes, you can, maybe even you should. But this needs to feel like a presentation and not just a conversation between you and a friend. So generally avoid slang if you can pace yourself, right? And that also connects to this. Don't just wing it. Make an outline, have a plan, organize yourself. Beyond all else, please, please do not just regurgitate the plot of your favorite film or television series or video game or comic book. This isn't that kind of uh, communicative exchange. This is a review. Inform your audience, then assess and make a recommendation. Last but not least, try not to have terrible lighting. Don't use that up your nose angle that makes everyone look terrible. Try to record your speech in a quiet environment. Don't edit your video. This is the most important thing. If you do and I catch it, automatic zero. Don't write out a script and read it. Try your best to just create notes. You can have note cards. Uh, you could create a bullet point list on your computer or a tablet or a phone or a physical notebook. Just don't literally write out a script and read it. This needs to be an extemporaneous speech that's organized and structured, but it needs to feel natural. I will say that being able to read a speech off of a screen or in a lot of conferences you'll read a paper, doing so naturally is a useful skill. Do practice that, it's very useful, but that's not exactly what we're looking for in this class. Okay, so that's it for today. Good luck with your media review speech. Contact me if you need anything whatsoever. Check out the syllabus for the due date and take care.